I want to share my experience on making games on Roblox uh, and uh, say how it's possible to find some money here uh, because we are adult developers and we're making serious businesses. Uh, let me uh, introduce myself and my studio first. Um, and so some short disclaimers. Like, First of all, I'm not the employer of Roblox. I'm not affiliated with it. Uh, and uh, I have a lot of materials, and some of them will be on the slides, but I will not. Uh, I will focus only on main topics. So feel free to make the photos of the slides. So as I say, I'm working on Roblox, making games on Roblox platform for four years. I made a lot of commercial projects that uh, keep me yeah, able to uh, running my studio, uh, but I have uh, zero successful own games, and this is also an interesting thing, and uh, I need to admit it, uh, but we tried, and it's also interesting experience to share. So uh, I will start with the basics, uh, because all the idea of this speech comes uh, from the lot of questions that people ask me uh, about the Roblox, because many people from the general game industry or maybe not even uh, entertainment industry comes to me interested in Roblox and asking me a lot of questions, basic. So I want to answer them at once. So usually if you're trying to understand what's Roblox, you find, oh, it's some site like roblox.com and there are a lot of games. Okay, let's try to play some games or let's see some video on YouTube about these games. And usually you get confused because it's something strange, it's something uh, not understandable, it's something weird. Uh, so how it's possible with the money here, how it's even can be useful. But, uh, Let's think abstract, because uh, usually people talking about the Roblox in the combination of Minecraft and Fortnite, like it's some games for childs that do something here or some, and that's all. But Minecraft and Fortnite, it's a games. Some specific games with specific visual style and specific um, game rules that can be expanded by some mods, some custom maps and so on. But there's no game named Roblox. There's no game such. It's a platform with a lot of games. It's like a YouTube with a lot of videos that made by users of YouTube, some amateur video creators or some professional studios. It depends. So the best way to think about this is think like it's a sort of Unity or Unreal Engine. Uh, but with a lot of additional stuff that makes its whole ecosystem. Uh, for example, you have free server infrastructure, you have uh, own community, and you have own marketplace. So if you make the game on Unity, you usually need to think about um, App Store or Steam, but on Roblox, you need to think only about the Roblox. Uh, and you can sell your digital stuff here. Uh, some big numbers, because we know we are grown people, we like numbers. Uh, and the most interesting numbers is how many players, it's a lot of players, it's, um, and how many money is possible to get there because Roblox is a company that get IPO and now every data about how Roblox have money in uh, get money, have, have paid to developers, it's all open and we see that it's uh, almost, I think in the next year it should be something like one billion dollars will be paid to, to the Roblox developers. It's, maybe it's a huge number, maybe it's not, because we know that evaluation of the whole uh, game industry is much, much bigger, but still this place without many uh, major competitions. So there are no Tencent, there are no Ubisoft, there are no any other big uh, companies, you no know, electronic arts. Um, so it's possible to get some money here. Uh, but welcome, it's your competition. Competition if you want to make the games on Roblox. Um, I was on the last year in Roblox Developers Conference. It's like the same conference as we are here, but only about the Roblox platform. And it's a typical developer on this platform. 
Uh, he's much younger than me, but much, much more successful, mostly because he spent almost his life uh, playing Roblox and deeply understands the Roblox community, deeply understands this platform. I'm only still learning this platform. Um, and what also, what possible in Roblox? Because usually people think about some examples of games uh, that are very primitive and thinking that it's uh, uh, all that the platform is possible. No, you can upload almost everything that you need, all visual content. Um, you can code any gameplay mechanics, so you can make absolutely different games. It doesn't need... Uh, it's important. You don't need to make another game that doesn't look like it's made on Roblox, but it's possible. For example, right now, it's can shot from the game Frontlines that looks like a Call of Duty, not the regular Roblox game. Uh, also, it's need important to, to know that Roblox is available almost on any uh, platform that's suitable for playing games. So desktop, mobile, consoles, VR. And uh, what is also important is that uh, you have only one build for all these platforms. So you don't need to submit your build on consoles uh, and wait for certification or review your patch in App Store. You, you can uh, upgrade your game, uh, release the updates instantly on all platforms. But what about the money? What about the monetization? Um, here is the main uh, money flow. Uh, Roblox uses the internal currency named Robux uh, that player can buy for real money, spent in games for anything that you are selling your games to player. And you as a developer can exchange this money for the real money. I mean the Roblox. But the conversion rate are no, no, not not good. Of course, every developer on Roblox wants to change this rate, but still, as I said, that many developers on Roblox are, are profitable. They earn many millions here, so it's possible. Um, okay. Uh, also, Roblox provides you some tools. For example, internal analytics, because. Uh, what I showed you previously, it's a sort of uh, free-to-play type monetization, and if you're making free-to-play games, of course, you need a lot of uh, analytics, and Roblox provides you, and if it doesn't provide you something, you can uh, use some external analytic systems. For example, we use dev to dev for this case uh, to track some of our custom data, some like completion of our tutorial or completion of some levels or something like this. Um, of course, this universal type of platform means that a lot of restrictions, some technical restrictions, uh, especially if you want the games that should run on uh, cheap Android devices or very old laptops. Uh, so it's here. And what is more important, um, there no way to freeze the version of the engine. Engine upgrades every week. Every week, Roblox uh, deliver update to the platform, and you have no way to stop it. <laughs> uh, so every developer works on the same version, um, and if something breaks on the Roblox side, you can do nothing with it. You just need to wait. Uh, I have a case when we delivered the game to our client, and on the next day, Roblox platform uh, shut down for about four days, and uh, our client was mad. We was very sad, but we not able to do anything with it. Um, and because this platform contains a lot of uh, young candidates, there's a lot of moderation here. Uh, so every content uh, moderated, even 3D models, and we find out that if you do, uh, you use your own characters, male and female characters, and if you want to try make your female characters more different than male, uh, you can be banned uh, because some sizes are too much bigger. Um, and this is why you need to get a contact with developers relationship guys. It's a, a special guys in Roblox who are help to developers, for example, for such situation also. Like, hey, please unban my account. I didn't anything illegal. Um, and if you get the game, you want to have 
uh, some audience here, and the easiest way is to buy this audience, and the Roblox has internal ads system that allows you to do it. Uh, and it's possible to start with minimal budget, $5, and you will have uh, some people enough, for example, for playtesting. So it's a good opportunity to start. But uh, still, it's a different audience in Roblox than in other games. They, you see, it can be cheap, they easy go uh, to your game, but they so same easy go out from your game. Um, so let's start, it was about what the Roblox is, and now we come to the thing, uh, if, how it's possible to make the business on Roblox, how is it possible to find some money here? And first of all, we don't need to make games for it. For example, uh, we can make uh, only digital clothes, and it's also a huge part of Roblox ecosystem because uh, players are really happy to change their appearance. They usually change their appearance a few times per week, uh, so there's a huge demand for virtual clothing. And you can pr produce this clothing and sell it to players without game, without coding, without everything. Just be a good modeler who can inv invent something interesting. So it's, it's just real players from the platform. Uh, of course, you can go the classic way, classic game dev, when you make the game on Roblox as uh, all other developers. Uh, we also do some experiments with it. Uh, Currently, we not succeeded here because uh, we didn't achieve enough uh, metrics, enough uh, conversion rates to make the game profitable. So we spend some money, we get the players, players have some fun in our game, but after that they uh, go to another game and we still have the game without the players it's, uh, and without some profits. Because um, it's hard to target and to understand what exactly audience wants and how to make the game is, for example, maybe creepy, but interesting for the players. To, to let them play, to let them uh, share this game with the friends, uh, and uh, to make the Roblox algorithm love you and promote you in their internal system. Um, but it's only the one way. Uh, it's possible also go another way. Uh, for example, if you do, if you make the games as outsource for some companies, for example, uh, some publisher or franchise holders uh, looking for opportunity, like we have some franchise that we are already released on PC, on uh, mobile, on consoles, where else we can put our franchise? Oh, we can put it on Roblox. So let, let's find the studio who can make it. Um, you can also communicate with Roblox directly. They have own game fund who sponsors the game development. Also, they have the educational programs where they're also looking for studios who make the some educational games and they pay to the games. Uh, and they have a brand relationship uh, department who communicate uh, developers with brands because many major brands come to Roblox like we want to be on your platform. Uh, what, what we need to do? Oh, and Roblox promote uh, the developers that, that they know. But the most important thing is that you need to first uh, <laughs> find the way how to communicate with Roblox, find the, some contacts here and uh, let them know about you, your studio and what you are capable to do. Also, um, I know that many big studios are looking, uh, have some own uh, research and department, uh, uh, yes, research and development departments uh, where they can they generate a lot of ideas that they want to prove by prototypes. And they're looking for studios who can make these prototypes. Um, for, and I know from my experience, because previously I've made a lot of games on Unity, I see that the making games and making the prototypes on Roblox are easy, uh, much easier, especially if you're talking about the multiplayer games. But it still requires a high uh, qualified uh, studio. You can't just get the Unity programmers and ask them to start make something on Roblox. You still need to learn what it is Roblox and how to uh, code there. But still, some request here is uh, absent, uh, is, no, not absent, is already on the market. 
Uh, also, you can make the VR games and uh, Roblox available on MetaQuest uh, as a standalone application. And it's very interesting for big audience of uh, MetaQuest because it's a uh, a uh, few millions of people who are using MetaQuest, and they are not happy to pay for, I don't know, 20, 30 dollars per game. They are also interested in Roblox because they are able to start playing without any money because Roblox are free and all games are also are free to start at least. Uh, and as I talked previously, you are able to make the game for brands. You can contact these brands through the Roblox, but you can contact with them directly or through some uh, creative agency. And right now, there are a lot of brands are present in Roblox, and uh, it's not a common story in the game industry because on Steam games, on mobile games, we have one such thing like some brands come to you and say, hey, you have, okay, maybe on Fortnite. <laughs> okay, in Fortnite, many brands present here, but you, it's not a common story. Uh, but you see the, the, the names here, and it's more few hundred brands that already exist on Roblox, and it's like a chain reaction because other brands react on this. Like, hey, my competition on Roblox, we want also be on Roblox. <laughs> uh, so it's a part of the business. Also, you can make online events. For example, this is how I start my business because I started when the pandemic begins and uh, there was a demand on market when companies want to have some the events like birthday of the company, I don't know, celebration of New Year or something else, uh, uh, which is not possible to make on, on offline because the pandemic and all this restriction. So they find out that it's possible to make on Roblox because Roblox easily can hold a thousand of players uh, and uh, I'm sure it's a very reliable platform for that, and you are able to make some small game for them that will be branded for the company, that will uh, suit to the things that the company wants to achieve, uh, and open this game, for example, for a few hours only, but it will be operated as an online event. And, um, and uh, the same story, but about the music. We have a lot of uh, stories about the virtual concert, and the many concerts was already on Roblox. Many concerts will be in the future because it's a way how to gather a lot of more players, a lot of more people than on offline concert. So, so it's, each time it's a huge event. I don't know. Um, and it's not only about the money. You, if it's possible to make art. It means that it's possible to make our games as art. And if you make the games as art on Unity or on Unreal Engine, it means that you can do it on Roblox too. And for example, this is one of my art games that was exhibited on a Patch Lab Festival in Krakow. Uh, so it's also possible. Why not? And uh, this is all <laughs> that I want to share with you about the ways how you can make the games and get some profits on Roblox. Uh, so if you have any question, I will be happy to talk with you. All right, somebody has any question? Perfect, I will go there. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I probably have too many questions that would be appropriate to ask right now. Um, uh, I would ask more business-related ones, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, could you tell me a bit more about like, how big is the team that is working with you for, like, for projects such as like, you do on Roblox? And what would you say would be the, um, like the, the baseline that would the basis of, of success on Roblox uh, to like to cover all the expenses for the team. Uh, like, I mean, uh, backstory of that is that I'm actually uh, researching uh, games for Fortnite, so I'm kind of on the on the other side of things. So I'm quite curious on like how how Fortnite economy compares to Roblox economy in terms of business uh, and unit economy. So that's 
I hope that my question was clear. But uh, okay, okay, <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, so yes, if we're making some general game, classic game for players, uh, we have uh, built our business plan. Uh, like we make the game, we spend a lot of money, and maybe the players will play, and maybe they not. Maybe they will pay, maybe not. But if we're talking about making games for somebody else as outsource company, uh, it's a different story because we guarantee. We, we know how much money we will get. And usually it starts like we discuss some ideas, wh what we uh, want to do, wh what the client wants to achieve, uh, how we can achieve it, so wh what we can propose, like uh, some gameplay mechanics, something. Uh, after that we discuss the budget, uh, after that we sign the contract, and after that we work. If it's uh, some short game, uh, we can fit this or just get some money before and then advance and some money after the contract. If it's uh, some long project, it can be separate by different milestones, but still it's uh, just a contract where we already know how money ma we will get and uh, it will allow me to understand how money I can spend here. Uh, so it's a pretty reliable thing. Um, how long does it take to make an average game and uh, do you think it's better to pump out games one after another or, uh, or to develop one good game? Uh, if we are going for self-publishing, if we make a contract, how long does it take to make a game? Um, okay. Uh, some games that we make uh, for contracts, uh, we usually spend, I don't know, something like uh, four, six months. Um, but also we have some experience when we made the game for one month. Uh, if you're talking about the game for players, it depends because you can start uh, publishing your games to the players starting from the prototype. Like it's very early things, but you st already can publish it and players already will play it because players uh, not want some final graphics from final content. They all feel things that the interesting is uh, interesting gameplay some interesting uh, features. Uh, and for you as a developer also, you need to check your gameplay as soon as possible, and the first metric that you uh, need to look at it, it, how many players are spent in your game, the average session time. Uh, and uh, I don't know, they're not uh, some, at least I don't know some solution for success. Uh, I have only some ideas, and, and I try one idea by one, and I recommend it to, to you. So k get all of your ideas and start to prove one by one. Uh, you said that it takes half a year to make a game. Uh, uh, how big is your, is your team? Uh, my team is uh, 20 people, and usually we make uh, three games uh, at once. Oh, makes sense. Uh, if we're talking about this, how, how much people you need to make the game, it's very similar to other game development. You still need programmers, you still need game designers, level designers, uh, artists, modelers, animators, mm -hmm. so every so on. Hey, thanks for the talk, very useful. Uh, do you have some insights on Roblox engagement payout system maybe? Uh, is it like I know that they have the system, the more you play in the game, they pay developers for the basically play time of users. Do you know something about that? Uh, in the uh, analytic system that I showed before, uh, uh, some metrics you see is just as is, but some metrics you see with the benchmarks, like top, uh, I don't know, Top 1,000 game uh, have this, this amount of uh, session time, this uh, amount of retention, this amount of number of sessions per month or something like this. So okay. possible. Thank you. But uh, Robles, uh, as I remember, not happy when you share it, so I'm not sharing it here. <laughs>